The Security Council went about its daily business, discussing Myanmar in a closed session, but the abrasive speech by President Trump certainly resonated in this building. Please raise the... The Iran deal was codified in a Security Council resolution back in 2015. At a time, the U.S. and the U.N. had different leaders. Now, what has been agreed by the United States and European Union, uh, also Germany, with Iran, must be fully implemented. Uh, it is a very important deal. I'm sorry to see what is now happening. Diplomats of today are sorry to... Uh, we are concerned by some of the implications uh, of this statement because we uh, stand by the joint comprehensive plan of action. Uh, we judge it to be a good deal uh, which uh, helps uh, improve international security and we want to see it uh, continue to remain in force. Others argue the US cannot unilaterally amend a Security Council resolution. It is not a bilateral agreement. It does not belong to any single country and it is not up to any single country to terminate it. It is a multilateral agreement which was unanimously endorsed by the United Nations Security Council Resolution 2231. And the leaders in Germany, France and the United Kingdom added their concern for the deal, formerly known as a Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. They say, preserving the JCPOA is in our shared national security interest. The nuclear deal was a culmination of 13 years of diplomacy and was a major step towards ensuring that Iran's nuclear program is not diverted for military purposes. The leaders added that they were worried and willing to act over Iran's ballistic missile program and what they described as its regional activities. Iran has sent a formal letter of protest to the UN Secretary General. It says, The Islamic Republic of Iran will not be the first to withdraw from the deal, but if its rights and interests in the deal are not respected, it will stop implementing all its commitments and will resume its peaceful nuclear program without any restrictions. The greatest concern that Iran itself withdraws from the deal, shifting what was an internationally monitored and restrained nuclear process back into the darkness. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, United Nations.